digastric triangle. What are the boundaries of the digastric triangle? The boundaries of the digastric triangle are, as you can see in this picture, antero inferiorly it is formed by the anterior belly of the digastric and postero inferiorly it is formed by the posterior belly of the digastric as well as stylohyoid muscle. Superiorly, which is also called as a base, is formed by the base of the mandible and the line joining the angle of the mandible to the mastoid process. Where the roof of the digastric triangle is formed by the following structures that is skin, superficial fascia containing platysma. The cervical branch of the facial nerve also present at this location as well as you can see the ascending branch of the transverse or anterior cutaneous nerve of the neck and finally the deep fascia which splits to enclose the submandibular salivary glands. And let us talk about the floor. The floor is formed by the mylohyoid muscle anteriorly and by the hyoglossus muscle posteriorly. And a small part of the middle constrictor muscle of the pharynx also appears in the floor. Let us talk about the contents of the triangle. As you can see over here, in the anterior part of the triangle, the structures which are superficial to the mylohyoid are superficial part of the submandibular salivary gland and the facial vein as well as the submandibular lymph nodes which are superficial to it as well as the facial artery which is deep to it. Next is the submental artery, mylohyoid nerve as well as vessels and the hypoglossal nerve and other relations we will study in detail when we talk about submandibular region. Next is about the posterior part of the triangle. As you can see the posterior part of the triangle over here, the superficial structures are the lower part of the parotid gland as well as the external carotid artery before it enters the parotid gland and the deep structures passing between the external carotid arteries are the styloglossus and the stylopharyngeal glossopharyngeal nerve and the pharyngeal branch of the vagus nerve, the styloid process and a part of the parotid gland. And what are the deep structures? The deep structures includes internal carotid artery, internal jugular vein and the vagus nerve. And this is what is about digastric triangle.